Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Old Captain Paul's back today with a tutorial on how to create your own original patterned cover for a notebook or journal or activity book or any type of low content or no content book that you want. Now the benefit of this is that you don't have to use patterns that are already made, that are already uh, out there to be downloaded, that anyone can use. These will be your own original patterns that nobody else will have. So let's get to it. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that, then make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be in Adobe Illustrator. So if we go to Adobe Illustrator and we're going to create an artboard that's three inches square. So three inches by three inches. So three inches by three inches. And we'll click on create. Okay, so we'll just reduce the size of this a little bit. First of all, so we can see what we're dealing with. Now, we're going to need to go and get some graphics to use um, on this artboard to create our, our patterned cover. So for this, we're going to go across to Vecteasy, which is my favourite site for getting vectors and, and graphics. So for this one, we're going to create a, kind of a children's themed cover. And it's going to be a unicorn cover. I know you... You guys all love unicorns, so I'm gonna. So we're gonna create a unicorn cover today. All right. So we go to Vecteasy, put in unicorn, and scroll down. And what we what we're looking for is um, some graphics where we've got a few all together. So something like this, or this looks ideal, or even this. This one I quite like these cartoony type figures. So just click on that, download it. And then double click on the zip file to open it. Now let's go back to Adobe Illustrator. Now just a, a quick mention about Vecteasy. Um, the, the, the graphic file that I downloaded there was actually included in the, the free account that you can open. Now you do need to, if you do that, you do need to check the license agreement on there for the, the, the number of... Um, books, book covers you can create with this. If you do want the pro version, you can use the graphics on unlimited book covers. But you can get graphics on, on numerous different sites also, or you can purchase them on things like Design Bundles. That's a, another favourite of mine. Or I know a lot of people use Creative Fabrica, where you can pay a monthly subscription and get any number of graphics that you want. And that includes a commercial licence. I think that's quite a good deal. I, I think it may be to get the graphics around $20 per month. Anyway, so we've opened our three inch by three inch artboard. So I'm just going to, we've downloaded and unzipped our, our file. And what we want is this encapsulated postscript EPS file. Now this could have downloaded as a vector file, a .ai file. So you could just, just double click on that. But in this case, it's the EPS file. So we just double click on that and it will open up in Illustrator for you. And so we've got our vector graphics here. So I'm just going to take um, four of these and just copy and paste them onto our artboard. So copy, paste and reduce the size. And position it somewhere just on the, on the artboard for the moment. Go back and we'll have a, a crown, I think. Again, reduce the size, move that somewhere like so. And we'll have, a, why don't we have a unicorn rainbow? I'm going to put that in the center. Okay. Everyone loves a good rainbow. And then oh, we're going to take this, we'll have this shoe. No idea what that's got to do with unicorns, but we're going to use that anyway. I suppose it's a kind of a fairy tale theme. 
Now, you're gonna position these on the art board and you can adjust the sizes slightly. And what you need to do is you can have a, a few of the graphics in the center, but to create this pattern, you're gonna to need to take the graphics and overlap them on the edge of the, the art board like I've done here. And what we're going to do is do a mirror copy of the graphic onto the opposite side of our artboard. Now I think these are going to all be a little bit too big, so I'll just reduce the size of each of them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we click on our unicorn like so. We've got the bounding box around to show that that's selected. Go to Object, click on the object in the menu above hover over transform then click on move and it will open up this move box now I normally have preview clicked like so so we can see what we're doing now we want to move a copy of this down to the opposite side of the box and at the same position uh, the equivalent position at the bottom so we don't want to move this horizontally so we double click on horizontal put that at zero and then vertical we want to change that to three if we just click off preview, click on again, and we'll see that that moves it down like so. But we want to produce a copy, so click on copy. So now our unicorn has moved down there. Now you can see this shoe is just impinging there slightly, so I'm just going to move that just to arrange things a little, like so. Now we're going to do, I'm going to just reduce the size of that, put it there like so, same with the crown, like so. Okay, now we're going to do the same with the crown. So we click on the crown, object, transform, move. Now, this time, there's going to be no vertical movement. So we click on zero for vertical movement. And for horizontal movement, we're going to move it to the left, which is minus three inches. And then copy. And you see we've got our copy there. And same with the shoe. Now I'm just going to move that slightly. You can experiment with moving them about a bit. And so click on our shoe, object, transform, move. And this time we're going to be moving it to the right three inches. So that horizontal will be three and vertical will be zero. Copy. And here we have our arrangement like so. Now I'm just going to move that rainbow to the centre and I'm just going to reduce the size of that slightly because it's all looking a bit um, all bunched together. So now what we're going to do is create a three inch by three inch box to go over this. So you can do it in a number of ways but I'm going to do it with the rectangle tool and you can press M or just click on the left hand side menu and then just double click anywhere and we'll create this box, put three inch by three inches in the in the boxes here, and this will create our square. So I'm going to click on OK. Then click V to change to the selection tool, and then just move this into the center so it covers our objects here. Then what we need to do is highlight everything. So just press left click and move your cursor over everything, and that will select everything. And then, over on the right-hand side, you need to go to the Pathfinder tool. If this window isn't open, then just go to Window here and click on Pathfinder, and that will open. And then we click on Crop, and this is what we'll find we'll get here. This um, square with the components of our pattern within it. Now, we need to create our book cover. So we need to get the template first of all. So in order to get that, go over to bookout.com. I'll put the link down below in the video. And just part way down, go to free create space KDP cover template generator. So this is gonna be a six by nine inch book. So put width, six, height, nine, Page count 120, so it's going to be a 6 by 9 inch um, 120 page notebook. Ignore all this, we want our downloads as PDF and PNG, PNG is the important one. And then you just put your email address in here. Copy that, paste there. 
and then click consent to email and then just click on email cover template and that will be emailed to you and then you just download in the email you just download the the zip file double click on it and then well, what we'll have is is the downloads now we don't need the PDF but we want to double click on the PNG file for now because we want to see what the size of our template is because we're going to create a new file of this size so we'll see here this is our template and this is the size we're looking for so we're going to need I'm going to make a note of that 12.52 times 9.25 so that's the size of the file or the artboard we're going to create in Illustrator so let's go back to Illustrator so go to file click on new and so we're going to create our document of 12.52 wide and that's again in inches and 9.25 high and then click on create okay so we'll just reduce the size of that slightly so this is going to be the size of our full notebook cover so what we need to do next is to cover this with our pattern so we go back to the this sort of pattern box that we've created. Select it all, control C or command C to copy and go over to our blank artboard and just control V or command V to paste. Now with it all selected still like this we're going to go over to the right hand side where it says swatches up here. Again if this window isn't open just click on window and click the swatches so tick the swatches box and we'll just make that a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing so click on our little square of our pattern to make sure it's all selected and then just drag that up to our swatches box and just release okay and then we can delete it okay and our pattern is still up there in the swatches so now we're going to need to create using the rectangle tool we're going to need to start in one corner and just create a rectangle to the size of our artboard like so and then where it says swatches just click on fill to make sure it's selected because there you've got the stroke so just click on fill and then click on the, the new pattern swatch that we've just created bang and there we have our pattern and then what I like to do in most a lot of my notebooks is just have a rectangle square here I'll show you what I mean. So click on the rectangle tool again, which is M, and just create a rectangle. Now we need to color that. So click on fill, which we already have done. And then double click on fill. And we'll have it in this in a pink color. So let's have a look somewhere down here. Uh, and let's go for something like uh, that color. Okay, so what we need to do next is just to align this strip in the center of our book template. So go to the right hand side window, the Pathfinder window, and click on Align. Then click on Align to Artboard, that's already selected. And then click on Align Objects, Horizontal Align Center. You can see we can move this all over the place. But if we click on Horizontal Align Center, we know we're there. Now next thing we're going to do is create a box here on our cover and we're going to write the word notebook in that. So if you just click on our rect uh, rectangle tool again or, or press the key M and we'll just create a box here. Don't worry about the colour for the moment. Like so. Now the fill we're going to have as white. So just make sure fill is selected in the top right hand corner here and just click on white. Now we want a border around this so on the right hand side just move down and you'll see where it says stroke we want to increase the stroke to 2 and you can change the colour top right here where that fill box was we've got the stroke box so you could change that to a different colour if you like you can see there it's red so we're going to have black anyway then click on T the text tool, double click over the box, highlight the text, and we're going to write uh, notebook. 
and then click on our selection tool and we can enlarge this by pressing shift left click on the mouse we can just enlarge and place this within our notebook box it's going to change the size of that little box just ever so slightly and now here's a little trick if you wanted to make sure this was in the center of this box what you can do is make sure notebook is selected like so so just click on notebook using shift click on the box we've just created then take your finger off the shift click on the box again go to our align box on the right hand side and instead of clicking having it down to align to artboard click on the align to selection and we just need to click on that box again and then go to align objects horizontal align center so that'll move it to the middle and you can do the same as well with the vertical align so now this is in the center horizontally and vertically within this box now I'm just going to change the the font of this notebook so one that I sometimes or often use particularly in children's books is one called Cooper Black which is already up here so click on that and again you can see it's moved the alignment slightly so I'm just going to reduce the size of that shift just reduce the size and then shift click on our box over to the right hand side click on horizontal line center and again just vertical to make sure and there we have our notebook now I'm just going to change the color of this uh, this font I think to match the spine color so we can double click on that to highlight all the words over on the left hand side click on the eyedropper tool and then just click over our spine color then press V oops undo then just over to the left hand side click on our selection tool and there we have our notebook cover which I think you'll agree is quite looks quite reasonable and then it's just a case of um, saving that file save as and you can save that as a, a PDF and call it whatever you like and download that to your computer and then when you're uploading your book it's just a case of uploading the PDF file um, to the KDP dashboard so I think you'll agree that creates a nice original type cover and again you could use this this one is just a, a notebook cover it could be used to create a, any sort of um, low content no content book cover including activity book cover prayer journal um, notebook gratitude journal whatever whatever sort of cover you wanted to create and of course you could use different graphics and you can experiment with sizes different colors and yeah I've created a lot of my notebooks using this method you may find there are other methods to create patterns but I like this particular method because you can adjust the different components to create something quite original and also don't forget you've also, you can also write your title or whatever you like down the spine as well so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated and helps get the video out there to more people. And also click, click on subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next time, goodbye.